A few months ago, I had the pleasure to make acquaintance with Shaolin Soon, who has one of the most incredible shows on YouTube. It's called The Portrait Art. Using time-lapse photography, you watch as he draws these stunning works of art. The portraits just seem to appear and come to life. And with the music he adds, each episode just becomes an experience. Definitely check out his channel and subscribe to it. Let's see if I can get this here where there's no, no reflections on it. Shaolin drew this beautiful portrait with charcoals and I made the frame with walnut and paduk wood from Thailand. It's heavy. <laughs> So what we're doing is we're auctioning this off and we're donating 100% of the winning bid to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. We both really hope you'll get involved and consider placing a bid. The auction runs through next Friday and you can check down in the description for all of the details. It's all about bringing brightness to a child's life. I'm using this inexpensive pine to make the frame thicker. It won't be seen. And I'll glue those secondary pieces onto the main board. I'm gonna cut this down into more manageable sized pieces. One thing I always like to do when I make picture frames is make some test profiles. This is the profile I decided to go with and the end piece will be the walnut and this little piece here represents this strip. Make sure you cut all of your pieces extra long so that you have room to cut them down to size. Once you start adding those miters, it's surprising how much material that removes. I'm only gonna need two different bits to make these profiles. The first one is a quarter inch roundover bit. It has a curved area and it has this little shoulder here. I'm gonna use both of those running the wood through this way on its edge. That leaves me with this real subtle shoulder. I'll switch that router bit out with this big code bit. I can adjust the height to match my test piece. I always want to double check before I run this to make sure that I'm running them through the right way and then get them all lined up. As many frames as I've made over the years, I've never been able to develop some sort of a magic system that works perfectly every time. The only way I can do this is by slowly cutting the sides down bit by bit until I reach the exact size. I have cut a 16 by 20 board that I'm gonna use to keep testing it so I don't actually have to use the art. The one thing that helps enormously is having a miter sled for my table saw. I've got a separate video on how to make this if you're interested. And all this is is a perfect 90 degree angle so that I could run a frame through it this way and cut a 45 degree. The pieces that mate up, I cut on opposite fences. That way they meet up perfectly. With this first miter cut, I'm gonna put these together and put my 16 by 20 art in like that. With that together, I can make a mark where I wanna cut my next miter. With those two pieces, now I can cut miters on these two pieces. I'll cut these two miters first, the ones that I don't have to measure. Now I can put these three pieces together and test it out. I'll mark the opposite side and try to get it the same size. Now to cut it, I'm just going to take that mark I made and line it right up with the edge of this slot. So I'll line these up and yeah, I can see I've got a little bit more to take off of this one. Now that the two short sides are the same length, I can start working on the long sides. I'm gonna get these three sides perfect and then I'll finally cut the last one. That's not too bad. I think I'll cut this final piece to the same size and do a test fit. I'm gonna hold it together with this band clamp. This will help keep it square while I'm testing it. That has about a quarter inch gap 
both ways. So that gives us some breathing room. I'm pretty happy with that. Now I can glue this up and let it dry overnight. I'm gonna make the walnut sides the same width as the rest of the frame. And I'll round over one edge of each of these walnut boards. And these pieces will wrap around the edges and I'll cut them just like I did before. One thing that'll make it a little bit easier is that I can line up one corner like that and then I can reference off of this miter that's already there. But again, I'm gonna cut these slightly oversized and work my way down to an exact fit. Thank you for watching this video and if you haven't seen it already make sure you watch this drawing come to life over on the portrait art and subscribe to Chownan's channel while you're there and if you discovered my video from the portrait art I'd like to welcome you to woodworking for mere mortals you should know that I have new woodworking videos every Friday I hope you'll take a moment to browse through my channel and subscribe I believe woodworking can transform lives and it's a lot more accessible than you think anybody can do woodworking and it doesn't cost a lot mostly I hope you'll consider placing a bid on this combined project. Remember, 100% of the winning bid goes to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I believe we have the power to brighten up at least one child's life.